Car tester Michelle Assenmacher wants us to know it's 30 degrees and sunny and she has to work, but working in a convertible like this is almost like being on vacation. And this particular car is almost like being on vacation in Italy. Her mood improves with every kilometer in Fiat's new 124 Spider, a tribute to the original Spider that debuted over 50 years ago. This new version merges genuine roadster feeling with the handling of a sports car. Michelle sees the Spider as a real fun mobile. It has great pickup, heads into curves beautifully, and looks nice and snappy. At 103 kilowatts and 240 newton meters of torque, the Fiat specs don't really promise much in the way of sporty driving, but its top speed of 217 kilometers an hour makes it quick as a flash. Firstly, the 124 Spider only weighs 1,125 kilos, so the engine has a fairly light job. Secondly, the car hugs the driver's body tightly. Thirdly, the seats are so low and the cornering so stable that the driving experience feels more intense than in almost any other car of this price range. Fourthly, doing 150 kilometers an hour whips just as much wind through the occupant's hair as doing 250 in a Porsche. But this little race about reminds Michelle of another roadster, though not from the outside. Without the Fiat logo on the steering wheel, she couldn't have said for sure if she was driving a Fiat 124 Spider or a Mazda MX-5. The resemblance is not coincidental. The Spider is built on the Mazda MX-5's platform. But at least Fiat has its 124 Spider back in its range half a century after rolling out the original. What's important is that an educated look says Roadster and not MX-5. The horizontal taillights, long nose, and curvaceous hips all shine with typical Italian flair. The classic silhouette is beefed up to athletic proportions. The dual exit exhaust complete the sports car design. This Spider is more for fun than for carrying people and cargo. 190 kilos are allowed, including driver and passenger. So the trunk only takes a meager 140 liters volume. Eight centimeters tall, Michelle had to push the seat all the way back to get comfortable. But if the driver feels squeezed in, the passenger will too. And if a tall person gets in and bends their knees, a bulge on center tunnel makes it feel even more cramped. The inside reveals the Spider and MX-5's common basis. Both could use more legroom, and the seats feel tight in an already fairly cramped interior. And both cars have four of their nine Bose sound system loudspeakers integrated into the headrests. The leather steering wheel is standard. The Lusso equipment line we tested includes air conditioning and leather seats, among other things. The seven inch touchscreen rising from the dash was also taken from the Mazda. It only takes a pull and a push to put the top up or back down in a few seconds whenever desired. In Germany, the basic model Fiat 124 Spider lists at just under 25,000 euros. Fun and fast times come at no extra charge. <laughs> 